Oh, we're live now. Yay. Oh, guys. I don't know if you can be watching, but welcome to the first ever Para Snack and Chat. And we are talking a bit about, you know, the Google Infused Classroom. And Amy's here. And we have our snacks. She has wheat thins. I have popcorn, adult juice, <laughs> and of course, chocolate. So I am so happy that you're here. And um, me and Amy were just talking about the the school board meeting and how we felt about it. I whoo, y'all. <laughs> whoo, I just I just want to know when. When did they realize that this was not going to happen? That's all I want to know. Amy, how are you feeling about it? I feel like hmm, I want to know if they're going to really propose something before they put it out there again. I really want to know that. Are they going to give us that respect? Probably not. <laughs> Probably, yeah, that, that's the sad part. You, I'm like, I don't, I'm not sure if they will. I think they're going to try to slide it in and be like, whoa, there's no more testimony because this was a recess and not a a whole new thing. I really think that's what they're going to try. They're going to try to get some speakers on their side. Yeah. Yeah. Like, who? Who, who are they going to get? Yeah, I don't I, know. <laughs> they, You know they pull rabbits out of hats all the time. <laughs> oh, McKee was here. Hey, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you didn't use Zoom. I hate Zoom. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, I can't stand. Yeah, I can't use it on my laptop. I'm gonna use it on my phone. My 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 like my internet be like ah uh, no yeah. <laughs> just no. Yeah, not yeah, today. Amy and I, not today. Mm -mm. Amy and I were talking about uh, the school district mess with the school board. Oh my like, god! Did, did, you, you did, you, did you see the update from Height? Yeah, that he that said make it, email. Make, make it clear. <laughs> he loves saying that. Make it clear. <laughs> At one time. Yeah. <laughs> I was at what point do you think anybody was not clear? <laughs> yes. You the one weren't clear. He could have just Yeah, everybody else was clear. I mean, come on. Right? He's like, come on, come on. At what point do you think come we weren't clear? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like he um he has, he doesn't have a clue with anything. No. no, I think he puts his hand in, head in the sand. I think he has more of a clue than people think. Oh, you he, think he, he, he plays? He plays special. I, I think he plays special. Exactly. <laughs> you don't get where you're at. It's this. Mm, yeah. Yep. Yep. But no, they like they <laughs> hire they hire you when you like that. Yeah, and that's what it was. All the all money and all little contracts that they can get. Yeah, because yeah. they was like, oh. The virtual thing is that's why you don't see nothing about the virtual school. Mm -hmm. Like, we're gonna use the new hires, but maybe some of the regular teachers, but there's not connected with this. Who 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 got the contract, y'all? Who yeah. got the contract? And, and they get they get paid more money, right? The contractors probably because they're going through a a, a, po a totally private company. Yeah. Right. So I think it's probably his buddies. And what about our? No, yep. our I wouldn't be surprised because we're out of contract soon. Right, he gonna contract us out, and he didn't want. To I yeah, agree. he didn't do nothing about the contract. They said no. Nah, he's like, no, we're not talking about the contract right now. Well, why not? It's it's well, yeah. uh, it don't y'all act like y'all can't in two jump. Y'all can't walk and do two things at the same time. Yep, we do it all the time. Oh, and we know, we know it about the contract. It's not like they didn't know about <laughs> it. Yeah, it's not like it, it's popped up out of nowhere. You know right. about it. It's a surprise. Even if no. you were to say extension, 
Okay, well, everybody's been doing an extension on their contracts. Yeah. At least do something. I'm praying for extension because I go up a step in October. Uh, yeah, well, mine's in November. It really stops. It. Something. Say something about it. Don't yeah. Don't hanging. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're doing. Because, look, you have four years to decide what you're going to do for the next contract. What else yeah. you yeah. doing? Yep. COVID should be like, all right, here. We're here. Yep. But, but we still got this to do. Yep. We definitely got this to do. And you're this leaving banana. everybody very insecure and everybody's very doubtful. Like, because what? Because you couldn't get a contract? Or you wouldn't negotiate yeah. with your face-to-face? Mm, well, we can't go. You want us to go face to face to teach kids. Mm-hmm. You, 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 yep. you should be in your nice, cushy house, not even in your conference room, in your new office. Yep. So your state house. of the art. Yeah, state of the art. <laughs> yep, you do <can> not. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we can't even get snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to say we're off topic? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying he should give us a virtual tour of the office that we pay for. Right. right. I mean, it'd be nice. Because obviously, obviously. Look, Jerry Ooh. Jordan don't even talk about the office. You know he's been in there. Yeah. Oh, right? <laughs> he should have stuck the phone in there. He had his little camera on and did like a exactly. little live like a video. Like, look what y'all paid mm-hmm. for. Exactly. <laughs> Amen. Oh, while we're waiting, I found this lovely quote. Ah! My camera didn't fell. We <laughs> 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 always got some going on. <laughs> I'm thankful the cats have not run across the bed yet. Okay, or right right now. Now. <laughs> they, they across they, the computer. They're going to be real soon. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> you're not so no attention. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, so right, I feel, let me see if I can do this. So I found this quote, and I think that it fits us. It says, we can't teach the way our teachers taught us. That world no longer exists. That is so true. Yep, it is true. 100%. And I think, yeah, and when I saw that, I was like, well, actually, it said parents. I was like, blah, we're going to change it to teachers. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> that's what I was thinking about. That really got me, especially with the virtual, and it really fit with the Google Classroom and the book. Because if we don't switch up, <laughs> we are not going, We're, you know, we're just... And you know when I told people about the book, you know about the the um the book club and what we was doing, they was like, "No, that's the school district job. They supposed to be providing books and um and having classes. Like some things you have to do on your own. You can't wait for school." Right. But even if it's supposed to be, it's not. So you need no. to go above and beyond on your own and research yes. things out. Right. If you, if and if that's if you not- what you want. We gotta make yes. us survivable. Yeah, we gotta make us because, I mean, if we don't, who no one is? Will. <laughs> yep, no one will, and and we'll end up the same way we did before. Yep. Hey, y'all, what are y'all supposed to be doing? Uh, well, go call, mm-hmm. go go call parents. No, that's not <laughs> we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, it's helpful, but really, yeah, just right. busy giving yeah. us busy work. Yeah, busy work, like, because they don't know what to do with us. And it's yeah. like, if you just ask, it would be okay. Mm-hmm. It truly would be. All right, so did anybody look through the book? Because I've been playing with the book. Yes, I've um, been looking through I haven't had time. I've been in a bunch of meetings, Leah. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so you got no. ESY and meetings. <laughs> I was like, I'm ESY too, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'm in the book club with um with Adam too on Wednesdays. Oh, oh every wow. other Wednesday, yeah. You got I got um bar we one the um we want to do more than survive. 
I that starts on Tuesday. Can't wait. Yeah, we doing on top of the clock. Woo. All right. So here's a book, of course. And it's pretty awesome. And the one thing that stuck, it was something that really stuck out to me. It was, um, let me see if I can share my screen with this part. I've been playing with this a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can share this. It's called Redefining Literacy. It's on page five. Let me see if I can do it. Let me see if I can find it. Not this. Oh, yes, yeah, see it. Oh, there's my finger. Lovely. <laughs> so. <laughs> I've been playing with this all day. It's like, you would think I would be really good at this, but. <laughs> Oh, let me see. Um, this we said oh. I've not got it yet. Um, move it over, sir. Uh, up or down? To the right. Oh Lord, you know I'm bad with left and right. Yeah, you go on the right way, but this way, this way. I think, yeah, but it's not showing the I whole thing. I love my document camera. Oh, it's my yeah. other little toy. Oh, wow, that's cool. This is one of my little toys that I got. It's part of my stimulus money. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what I did. this is what I did. One of the things I got with my stimulus money was this document camera. It wasn't that bad. It was like only 100, yeah, but, but it can take cool. pictures of the page and record them and make a video Get a copy it's really cool and then I, I can say like I used this and then when we first started I had just got it and I used it to um, read books to the kids oh really oh all right that's yeah. fine oh that's cool so I got them yeah so it. Yeah, it's like it's really good. It hooks up to it hooks up to your laptop. Again with the little oh I keep hitting the button. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so what you do is um like I use Screencastify and what I would do is I would read stories to them and post them in Google Classroom. Oh, okay. Wow. And then post in Google Classroom. Yep. Okay. And so, so the reason I wanted to do this is because um, we really can't. Wait, did you just get kicked out? <laughs> yeah, I guess she used it now. <laughs> Being all fancy. But the <laughs> I got kicked out my own string. Are you kidding? <laughs> Leah, we talking about you say you being all fancy with this with the new camera, but then you got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the regular webcam. <laughs> but no, it's clear, it's clear though. You would think. See, I try new things, and this is what happens. No, that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna have hours when we try new things, and that's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I was looking at this part. Was like redefining literacy, and the part that got me. It says we must expand the definition of what it means to be literate. So we need to. What's it say? Students, we need to. Okay, but a step toward accurately redefining literacy is to think of our students as participants in a global society rather than simply learning as learners. Oh, wow, yeah. And I thought, I, when I saw that, I, I, it kicked back to the, you know, we can't teach the way our teachers taught us. Yep. And... 
especially with our babies, we definitely, we have to be innovative. We can't keep it the same way as before. Right. And from and Google Classroom, there's a lot of stuff in Google Classroom that we really have not touched, played with, because we didn't know about it. Most times it was all physical stuff that we did. Like we use Google. I think my the teacher, Ms. Strouser, she used she's just started using Google Classroom last year. So I know my teacher and I, we really didn't do it. I think because I'm kind of old school. <laughs> and yeah. I, I still like writing things out, but I can't keep doing that. No, I, I can't keep. And we can't keep doing that. So it's best if we try to figure out, well, use these things. How to get us, get us a good, like a good readout of what we need to do. So I thought that was that one really hit me to redefining literacy and being a disruptive teacher because we all know that I like to start trap. So <laughs> <laughs> I like to start stuff. So oh. you might think I'm you know, going along with you, but I'm not. As a, yeah. yeah, so in the book it says, um, although students know how to use technology, they don't understand how to use it to learn. And that's on page seven. See, I've been playing around in this book. So my question is, how do we get, like, how do we as assist, pet, pet assistants, PCAs, how do we leverage Google Classroom for our students? That's a tricky one because I mean we have multiple disabilities. That's what I was going to say. And a lot and of them can't is, a lot of them can't read. So, so maybe we might have to start doing it in pictures. Yeah. Now have I you found, found have you found I was going to ask you, have you found any you know a bookaholic? <laughs> You know, I, I am it. a bookaholic. I knew it. <laughs> Let me write so it down. So here's the book. <laughs> can you see? Google okay. for apps for Let me see if I can slide it. Yeah. So, so you can use that. You can use that for the Google Classroom. Yes, these are all Google apps. Let me see if I can. Wait, see. Uh, I've been skimming this book, but I haven't really like dealt with this book. So one of the things that I liked when I looked at it, it was um let me see if I can show it to you. Um so, so it's like all the things the littles can do with technology, log in, work collaboratively. Like our kids can do this. Yeah. I don't know, model and create spreadsheets, share ideas. Navigate through apps and troubleshoot with others. Search for images and use keyboard shutouts. Use keyboard shortcuts. Our kids can do those. Even our, our, all of them, the ones that can't read. And uh, some of the steps that they said in this book, maybe we should have started with this book. <laughs> yeah, because like, I think we can do. See, Amazon leads me down a, a, a rabbit hole. <laughs> I start off with one book and it says, hey, do this one. Oh, look, how about this one? How about this one? You're like, oh, oh, okay. Okay, this one. <laughs> so what this book says for our login, what we can do is have login cards in pockets. That's if they're in the building. Or for this, like the student name and their their ID number, put it on the side of the computer, like the different rows that they that it would be on, and color code it. Okay. I know. I was like, wait, what? Can you see it? Let me see if I can slide it up a bit. 
see what they did to it? Like they they put the student name and the, so it'd be like their ID number, which they always have. And because they got to use it for lunch. Yeah, they and use for like everything. The, right, so they should know how to use it. So I might just send y'all these copy of this book because this might be better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> This, we might just do this book and we'll use the other ones as references because this, I think this is yeah, more, yeah, because that's for our population. And I, like I said, like I said, Amazon sent me on a rabbit hole, it sent me on a, it started with the Google Infused Classroom, and then it was the Shake Up Learning that was the other one. And then it was like, here, you might like this one. Oh, you might like this one. Oh, get a Google Apps for Littles. I was like, okay, I'll try to Google Apps for Little ones. Because I was thinking MDS. So so can we use that one with saying, the, hy the HyperDoc? Yes. Yes. So what this one is, like, it, this one basically just shows us what we can do. Okay. So it's okay. like um things you can do with the kids. Let me see if I can find a good one in here. So like the beginning tells us how to log in, how to get the kids to log in. And um safety. Like what things can they like what's what's good safe to share share online? Because I had a student, he was my baby. And his mama freaked out. She doesn't really, she didn't really let him have an, a Facebook page or anything. But what he had done was he hacked into, he got the phone, hacked into his sister's Facebook page, and he put all his government out there. Wow. So, and, <laughs> so you know, she was flip, she was freaking out. She's telling me, I'm like, oh my God. Oh my god. I right. would too. That's insane. So she was like she was a mess. I was like I didn't even know he could do that. She's like I didn't know he could do it either. <laughs> so like <laughs> I mean yeah. I should have known he could have figured it out because he figured out how to get around. Remember when they blocked YouTube? Mm -hmm. And the kids could never look you at YouTube. He yep. figured out a way to circumvent it and get onto YouTube when the school district had it blocked. Get out. I, you would have thought that I Yes. They probably said you did it. Like, no, he was sitting there. We showed him how to do it, too. <laughs> I didn't even know. I was like, I don't know. How did you do that? He was like, uh, I just did this. I was like, oh, okay. Nice to know that. <laughs> Thank you. So, so he wasn't afraid <laughs> to play around with it. No. And I think that's. A lot of our kids are are not afraid to play around it. We're the ones that are, are scared yes. to play around with it. Yeah, right. And we can be scared. I think that's the whole difference. So it has like handling the de um, device handling is, and and citizenship, digital citizenship. There was something I saw in here on how to log in. Oh, pictures. Here it is. One account, it shows them how to log in. And like they're saying, instead of them having to type their name, they can do a picture. Where is it at? There's a picture. I gotta find it. I've, I've told you this book is interesting. This one, yeah, we might send this book out because <laughs> this one's pretty cool. It's like, student log, log in. Getting set up. So, like, they even said they should have email. It's okay for them to have email because they'll learn how to talk to people, gather information, be safe. Yeah, we're, we're going to, I'm going to have to send y'all this copy of this book. <laughs> I'm going to have to send y'all this book. All right, so it's Explore Google Classroom. I'm trying to find the one where it shows us when i find it i'll i'll show it to you okay but it, it but basically it says that you can instead of their name looking for their name 
they can just look for a picture of their face and that's how they know to sign on. Oh, okay. Oh, that'd be good. Like back in the day with AOL. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, here, Jen, pass the page like twice. Profile pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if they sign their name, if they, they're not going to be, if they're having trouble reading, they can look for their picture instead of their name. And then we just got to figure out a different way to have them sign on. But, you know, we'll get to that part. Yeah. And then, like, for Google Classroom, it's, I'm sorry, this stuff is fun. So, I, like I said, this book, we might hold off on the other one. That might be our extra, extra book. What the um so, the, the, the infuse? Yes. Yes. And now what, what about the um the hyper doc? The hyper docs are fun. Mm -hmm. So the hyper docs are actually let me see if I can find one. I did a hyper doc. The hyper docs are basically what that hyper doc is, is that it um you can, con it's like a kick butt worksheet. And on the left side, which would be my right side because you know, I'm a lefty, so everything's special on the left. <laughs> so on the left side is the activity. And on the right side would be the answer to the question. So it's like, um, write a, you know, do a video, look at the video, say, let's say you're doing water what's a river or the water cycle. So on the left side would be a link to a YouTube video of the water cycle. And then on the, on the right side would be a question of describe a water cycle or draw the water cycle and they'll be able to click on it and they can use different Google, like Google draw and they can draw out or write what the water cycle is. But would that would that be on the Google Classroom? Yes. Let me see okay. if I can find my hyperdoc. I did a hyperdoc, or I borrowed. I borrowed a hyperdoc. I'm not even gonna lie. I borrowed one. All right. So there's one called. There's an actual whole website to it. It's free, and they have different lessons from like K to twelve. And it's, it's hyperdocs.co. Okay. Don't worry, no. I'll, I'll put the link somewhere. Jessica! And, and <laughs> All right, so let me see if I can uh, show you a sample. So I'm gonna show you the sample of a hyperdoc. I've used, like, I tried it once and I was being lazy and I should have done them, but they are absolutely awesome. And they have one for seasons, like Thanksgiving, Christmas. If they don't have holidays, you know, you can do it that way. Like I said, any kind of science, anything you want. It is pretty awesome if this thing speeds up it'd be nice thank god the boy is not here because then he would have really slowed down my internet i'm already fighting oh, with comcast yeah. yeah the playstation going and the computer and do i'm like i'm fighting um, for some do you have a chromebook from the school district no um because i have a when i when i use a chromebook i don't have an issue with the streaming and what it is is that i got the prepaid internet because i was not paying for that high behind that high behind the comcast yeah Whoa. and i tried to get verizon and first i said i could get fios and then it's like well technically we tried it but it's not the line's not putting all the way i was like oh here we go yeah <laughs> and I had that whole thing where they did the they're trying to put the DSL in, 
and they were like, um, the line is cut in the apartment building. You would have to either, first they said they was going to run the line from the basement up the side of the wall and into the apartment. I was like, you going to do what? I was like, I didn't know y'all did that. It's like, yeah, yeah. And then they, they came, the guy came back. I was like, no, no, we don't do that. I was like, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> it's like, well, you're going to, there's like, you're going to need that out. The landlord run the line for you or pay somebody. I was like, I'm not paying for no place. That I don't live, that I don't own. Uh uh. Wait, they're telling you what to pay for it? Yes. And who I was gonna, No, I was gonna get Verizon, so I had to, D, I was gonna get the Verizon oh. DSL. And so well, they, the, the DSL is run basically on a phone line. Mm, and what yeah. they did, the, yeah, so they cut the line, the apartment building, cut the, the landlord cut the line a long time ago. So the Verizon was like, so are you, you can either have the landlord, see if the landlord will put the line in for you, or you can pay a contractor to run the line for you. Got it. I don't own this building. Right. Why would I, why, why would I do that? Right. Why would I do that? All right. So let me see if I can find one. This one. So yeah, so the hyperdocs are pretty cool. I like them, and I'm quite sure that we can figure out we can figure it out how to do it for each kid. And when, uh, from what I'm reading with Google Classroom is that we can individualize for all of our kids, so they can all be taught the same lesson and put on their level. Yeah, as soon as I find that, all right, let me see. Come on, be nice. Come on, slow internet. Sometimes I think my computer is going to quit on me. Because <laughs> <laughs> you overworked it. You yeah, overworked like, it. Like, like, you, first you got the stream, now you got this. <laughs> yeah, so for the Google Infused Classroom, I mean, I, this might be a little more advanced for our babies. Yeah. And I. Okay. When we looked, when we looked at, when we picked it out, we was thinking about ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and look, we were sipping too much. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Look, here's something. Of what hyper docs are since I find the book. I got the book somewhere. It's somewhere in my, my plethora of books. I'm like, oh my. I have a stack of them. So if I can ever get it open, I can show you a real life one. Yeah, slow internet. Yeah. So are you from the same school? No, I'm from Feltonville. Okay. Arts and Sciences. What um, what school do you work for? Oh, West Philly High. Okay. I'm at the cater. She teaches the big baby. I teach the eight. I teach the eighth grade, the sixth and eight. I teach six to eight. She got okay. the big babies. Yeah, I got the high schoolers. Got it. Fourteen to twenty-one. <laughs> You got Look, that. It's like elementary. They just tall. <laughs> I was say I do that in the summer usually. Yeah, that's my do for ESY. Where are you for ESY? Baldy. I'm at um Barry. Okay. Hmm. What um second graders? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm Baldy right now. I'm six to eight this year. Usually mm. I do the high scores, but they mm. would only like go sixth graders this year. So we are six to eight. Aww. I don't know. I love my sixth to eighth grade. I don't know why. I just do. It's just something about them. During the school year, she always puts me with like the youngest kids, like kindergarten first. Oh. <laughs> no, I couldn't. <laughs> Mm -mm. I did kindergarten as an SSA, and 
and that was in regular and i was like can i please go back to middle school please because mm-hmm. I'm like, these chitlins are too needy. They need you to tie their shoe and write uh-huh. their numbers. And I'm like, oh. and it's like, once you come from like middle school down to that kindergarten, you're like, it's like going no. back. Yeah, it's like, no, what are you doing? Brain, what are you, no. That's why I enjoy the change in the summer. But I will <laughs> say, like, she always faithfully puts me with the younger kids. She'll be like, yep, that's where they love you. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the Google Infused Classroom. I'm gonna put this one to the side because that's above our pay grade right now. That's above our children's pay grade right now. We're gonna go with the Google for little. Okay, <laughs> because I think that that'll probably help. So I think what we should practice doing before school starts, whatever that is, is that um, we should learn up how to set up our own Google Classroom. Because I was like, if we could set up, (laughs) Sophia said she works, she prefers to work with the older students too. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. I think like if we can work with, um, you know, we can set up our own Google Classroom. It's a place for us to keep things for our kids that we know will help them. And it's quite fun sometimes, if I can ever get it. And so yeah. I think our, our first step. What, go ahead. Can we do that with our own account besides the school district? So, you know, yeah, your personal account, no because it's actually a paid thing but in your school district account absolutely like i've done it. let me see if i can find like it's really not that hard to set up a google classroom let's see if i can get mine I'll take the hyperdeck stuff away um let's see if i can do it i've done it before and like i said i've never really messed with it it was just there. So let's see. I can share my screen. All right, I'm going to share screen. And phone tab. Hey, I'm getting, I'm getting used to this. I'm getting used to this. All right, so classroom. So go so this is this is mine. This is all from my school district email. If it ever comes on, like come on, come on, baby. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yes, I'll carry to it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so these are mine my google classrooms and it's like basically you hit the plus button the add the the add the classes yeah so you hit create you hit create class and then you give your class a name so i make mine testing and just hit create So after this, you pretty much, you can do what you want with it. See, right, so there's mine right there. All right, so go into it. I'm gonna see, how can you um, like change that setting right there, laptop? So you mean the- um, Like change the like theme change. or- Yeah, yeah the, the theme. All right, so if I wanna, so I can either hit select theme or upload photo. So if I hit okay. select theme, I can pick a new picture. So I'll do this one and I'll just hit select class theme and it'll change it. Okay. 
And if you want to be real froggy with it, which I'll do every once in a while, um, I'm still learning this, is that they, the, the bitmojis, you can actually make a bitmoji and like a whole classroom and do it that way. All right, so how can you put your avatar on there? So your avatar, still, still playing with this now. <laughs> don't, don't, oh. be, don't, be, don't be get, don't be acting extra stuff right now. You <laughs> asking for all this extra stuff? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Look, she's the one. <laughs> I said I be playing with this stuff. Now that I know what I'm doing. But you got six classrooms. You ain't found out yet. <laughs> no, I ain't playing with these classrooms like that. So you just make it classrooms. No, the first one. Okay, so the first classroom is um, who is it? The distant learn. That's um somebody else is adding me to their classroom. It has a lot of stuff with um, distance learning for sped kids. Okay. Um, the beha behavior PLC. I have no clue what that is. I don't remember joining it. That's how long ago it was. I think I was in there like once. Now, O'Brien is my teacher. Okay. That's who I do it. And Strouser is the teacher next door to me. Okay. So you join her class? Yes. So, so like I said, I'm, I'm still playing with this a lot. <laughs> and like I said, so it's really easy to set up your own classroom. It's just how do we make it easy for our babies to get into the classroom right so let's see what this book says yeah i mean i'm gonna have to send us up and send y'all some copies of this book so in this book it says oh i like this one for ad pads and tablet we'll get to that later switching accounts let's see susan Tim okay here it is so I like this one. She says for title for assignment titles. Let me see if I can switch it up. And I'm go back. Um, doo -doo. This is amazing. I can do this. I don't know how. This is fun, but it's like, yeah. It's, so Sophia says everyone says that we can learn Google Classroom is to play with it. Yeah, that's basically what I do. I play with it. <laughs> And I think us playing with it plus the book will help us. So let me see if I, I can actually. All right. So, so here's the one part I like. It, it says, um, Christine, Christine Pinto is one of the ladies that wrote the book. She says, like, for titles and stuff of assignments, put a hashtag because all the kids know what hashtags are. Yeah. And put the name of the assignment, and that way it'll be it'll be easier for us to find and for them to find. And the other part was put frequently used sites in an about tab, which kind of makes sense. Okay. So they don't have to like keep clicking. They can go through, they know where exactly where it is. They can go to it. Yeah, I'm gonna get to all this book. You know, of course, you know, you can add your topics and stuff. Oh, I like this one. Which one doesn't belong? I didn't even see this part. So that would be like an assignment. Oh, that's cool. So I, yeah, we need to. So how, um, how frequently we going to be doing this? I don't know. <laughs> how much, how frequently would you like a week, every other week or every week? I mean, cause. And I think our I first, really assi like our first assignment should be to make a classroom. Oh, I like that. Yes. 
Okay. What you think, Amy? We'll make our first class. Okay. And weekly would probably be better than every other week. Okay, so what's today? Saturday. Oh my God, I forgot what day of the week it was. <laughs> I know. Every, every day. So every Friday. Saturday? Yeah. That's fine, man. Yep. <laughs> okay. So we can actually go through Google Apps for Littles. I'll send y'all copies. Okay. If anybody else would like a copy, just email us. I'll order it, ship it to the house, ship it to you, not to me, because I already have a copy. I'll ship it to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like this one. Yeah. yeah. I, I think, and by us learning this, we'll be ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll be ready for, and we'll be able to make our own assignments and do what's best for our kids. We can't, we can't wait around. Definitely. Yes. And so if, it, if that, this is being recorded and you know, I will record it and it'll be on YouTube. If you miss it, don't worry about it. And then I'm thinking Wednesdays, I'm going to do a video, like a quick five or 10 minute video of, Hey, we went over this in the book club. Here's more you can do. Mm-hmm. Because, um, yeah, this would be fun. She she asked if it's going to be recorded if we miss a Saturday. Yeah. Definitely. It will always be recorded and share it out with people. It'll be on our YouTube channel, Parapower Philly. So it'll definitely be there. So, yeah. So next week, in between all the missing y'all doing, ESY. <laughs> I of course will not be doing ESY because it's fun. I don't do ESY in the summer. Sorry, no. You <laughs> why are you missing? The, you missing out? I'm missing out on what? I don't know if I'm doing next year, but <laughs> it's not like it used to be. It used to be they making the hard, hard, you know, worse and worse every year. That's what I'm saying. Like, what am I missing out on? Yeah, torment. Mm -hmm. There you go. Just a bunch of meetings. So, <laughs> <clears throat> so this is so this is a way for us to definitely, definitely have some fun, learn some new things. Yeah, I definitely. So then, if you would like a copy of Google, mm -hmm. if you want a copy of Google Apps for Littles, you know, just email us at parapowerphilly at gmail .com. Drop your name, address, and I'll mail you a copy of it. Anybody else who wants to let me know. And what else do we need to know about this? So, I'm thinking we learn how to make classrooms. And then we can start exploring it because Google Earth is really cool. Like I love Google Earth. And if my computer wasn't so darn slow, <laughs> my internet wasn't so slow, I'd show you. Maybe I'll, I'll download it for next time. I kind of made a a hyperdoc, not a hyperdoc, but a um, a Google slide. And what I did was I read them a story and I um, I made a whole bitmoji screen. It's like I read them a story and then from Google Earth, I put it in, I linked to Google Earth. And I, what I did was I, um, it showed the, the setting of where the story took place. So one was called Layla's Lunchbox. It was about a girl who was an immigrant and she moved from Abu Dhabi to like Bumblehoo, Georgia. Why? I don't know. But basically the story was she immigrated over 
And this was her first year of doing, being able to do Ramadan and her first year of fasting. And um, such a great story. And when she was in school, she didn't let people know. She was she got kind of scared and embarrassed that she was doing Ramadan and she was doing a fasting. And um, what I did was I took the story and I did like a Google a slideshow. I did a slideshow for but that showed where um, Abu Dhabi is and the, the great spots in Abu Dhabi. And then it was where it was in Georgia. Okay. Where her, and it was pretty. So you know, next time, next week, I'll show you it. You know, I'll actually download it and reload it because we know me internet slow, and it's still I still got the blue the, the blue circle, still trying to get to my Google Drive. <laughs> but <laughs> told you, Comcast don't like me. They <laughs> don't like me. <laughs> they had to cuss them out yesterday. <laughs> so that's a great way. And I think with the apps, as the more we go through them, us getting to know better will set us up for for virtual learning. Even if we do hybrid. We got to, my goal is for myself and for my kids is to be able to teach them how to use Google Classroom effectively and how to learn from it. And when we go out, not, no, I said when, not if, when we go out, they'll be able to keep going. Mm -hmm. I just wish they had, for them. Um... I wish they had did that before we went out. You know, this should have been implemented like two years ago into their curriculum. I we agree. can't even get paper to house. We were going to all blindside it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just saying, we so but used to this, doing this is so new to me. Like, um, I think that's why a lot of the kids aren't getting on because they haven't been using it. Well, but, and then yeah. the news. But again, the news also announced that they weren't accountable. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the big thing. It was like, that was huge. They was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's no consequences if you don't do it. You ain't got to do right. it. That made everything like. You tell me that I'm not going to bring it. Yep. Yeah. And parents use that because if they you were tell like, me okay. I don't have it, I'm not going to be great for something. Yep. They'll, they'll take the phone book and they'll do whatever. We may or may not sign. Definitely. Did they say Ooh. the same thing for the summer? I'm so excited about this book. No, they didn't say that. No, I'm, I don't know how your tennis is going, but like we have kids that like as long as you reach them, mm -hmm. um, my kids are still accountable for the work. Like I know like the one kid, his laptop broke, but we, there's nothing we can do about it. And but ESY is going to let him go because obviously he was he was online for the first few weeks. Then his laptop broke, but they can't exchange it nowhere because no one's downtown to exchange it for him. Okay. So See, is that kind of deal. Oh. Yeah, because we supposed to have twelve. We only have been having one. Okay, then we have a kid like his parents like were just his mom. I guess he's um in sole custody of his mom. His mom had a heart attack. I don't know who he's been staying with, but like the mom just got out of the hospital and she contacted us and she's like, can you send me, I know I have the computer, but like, I can't be with him online. Can you send me all paper copies and he'll do it and say, you know, and give it to his regular teacher that we did. We sent out packets, you know? So mm -hmm. as long as they're staying in touch with us, okay, we're kind of being like, okay, we'll, we'll accommodate you as much as you need. But if you're not even reaching out, then I gotta say sorry. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what happens. We call you every day. We leave it. I mean, like we put it in the call log that we call you every day, so they can't yeah. ever turn around and sue and say, "Well, no one offered us this," you know. So definitely, 
Yeah, so yeah, so Fia says that um, this knowledge will be great, you know, for the first to know before the fall, and that's why I'm, yeah, this is why I'm doing this because that I don't, that training that they gave us when they first did the virtual, I'm talking. I'm not gonna lie. I turned the, the camera off. <laughs> stayed on mute. <laughs> I read a book. <laughs> I went to get some food. <laughs> I did. He's like, can you turn your camera back on? Um. Uh, no, it's broke. <laughs> it slows down my my internet's really slow. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it was like he was talking like um Charlie Brown, mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but also a lot of it depended on how your teacher added you too. You weren't added yeah. as a teacher, you weren't able to do any of the things that needed to be done. If you yes. were added as a student, then that that's what you got. And Sophia is right. Um they don't. Um, we the the one kid we have. He's you know he's hyper. He's seven years old, run up and down. The mom never says you know have a seat or sit next to him. And you only on there for an hour and a half. I mean you know it's it's broken up. But yeah. the mom, I don't know what the mom be doing. But, <laughs> but she never she never tell him to sit down. He's jumping up and down the bed. <laughs> so I mean we have to. Teach our kids so they know it by themselves. Yeah. And then I'm thinking, I'm not a fan of TikTok. I'm thinking I'm too old for TikTok. Yeah. It's just not my thing. I like but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? I say I like to watch TikTok. Okay? Yeah, me too. Come I have <laughs> I got, I, got, I got a short attention span, so it does work for me. Right? It works. <laughs> so maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe make a um TikTok. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can do this, Sophie. I like that. Your training's had to be flexible for parents, the beginner, intermediate, and advanced knowledge. Yes, it does need oh, to be. It. Yeah, definitely, Sophia. Yes. Because I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner. <laughs> and old. I'm kind of a beginner. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're not old. Well, see you, see you, citizen. <laughs> <laughs> so, Liz, don't, don't, be going so Liz, don't be going all fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go fast. Don't be going all fast. I promise. We're going to go slow. All right, so this is what we do next week. We're going to go through, I'm going to go through again, see what all the Google Classroom looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, for us intermediate folks, I'm still playing with it, is the Bitmoji Classroom. So at the top. We're going to work on that, with that, but you know. But we'll learn how to change the pictures, upload your own, all of that. Leah, can we, because Amy and I, um, Share our screen like you did, or just you yes. can only do that. Okay. No, you can do it. So we can look at it. Okay. And well, I love how my screen creaks me out. Okay, that was crazy. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're definitely going to do. I'll send and you all the books. Anybody else want the books? Right. You're gonna send us the books this week. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm going to, as soon as I get off, I'm going to order them, send them out. Okay. I'm still going to be the little bit. And then what yeah. do you call Wednesdays? Wednesdays is going to be, I'm going to call it Workshop Wednesday. Five, ten minute videos on YouTube. Things about Google Classroom and whatever we talk about online. On, on the book club. Okay. Is the you um the YouTube channel on the para um para power um FB page? Yep. Okay. You just click right on it so, and it's so so I'll share it when you um put up there. Yeah. Okay. So let's see it's not all intimidating. 
<laughs> I promise I'm not gonna get intimidating. I promise. I absolutely promise. You ain't gotta worry about it. I'll make it nice and easy, nice and slow. I'll even do a step by step on setting up a Google Classroom. Okay. How about that? Okay. Yeah. But in the meantime, we still going to open one. Right. Yes. You ha you are. It's yours. Just sign on your Google Classroom. Sign on Google and then switch it over to your school district email address. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. And then click on Classroom, right? Yep. Okay. I'll make a whole video of this, the step by steps. Okay. Yeah. I'll have it by Wednesday. Then we'll have some fun. We'll do that, and then we'll do we'll play with Google Slides, Google Earth, Google Docs. And if we get real froggy, I'll show you how to make slides where you can drag and drop stuff. Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> and that will be on Saturday, right? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Same time, same back time, same back place. Okay. Yes. Y'all be safe. All Thank right. You. Thank Talk you. No problem. Bye. 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 Bye.